Hello everyone, I'm David Lucas, the 2020 President of the Birmingham Association of Realtors. I wanted to take a moment this afternoon and give you an update on what's going on in our area, state, local, uh, even nationally as far as the COVID-19 virus is concerned and what our association is doing and monitoring so that we can get the information out there to you. So if you'll give me just a few minutes of your day, I will greatly appreciate it. Uh, one of the first things we're going to talk about is the, the Birmingham Association of Realtors is monitoring all information we can gather, that whether that be from the health departments, whether that be from local government, uh, from our governor's office, nationally and from Washington, and even from the national associations and the state associations. We are doing everything we can to receive this information, and I'll tell you in a moment how we're going to be able to get everything out to you so that we can keep you, the member, informed of everything going on in, in, in this time. That way, if you are at home with someone sick or if you're at home staying in place, you have a conduit for information. Leadership has been in communication with local and state officials. Uh, the National Association has been in contact with our congressional delegations as far as con you know what's happening with the stimulus packages and how they relate not only to the country as a whole, but also how they relate to our industry and how they relate to uh, we as independent contractors and to our small business owners that are our brokerages. So we are staying in contact with these people because these decision makers now and then in the future will also impact our livelihood and our world. So NAR, like I said, is in communication with, with these entities as far as how they how they conduct business and how it winds up conducting our business. You know, how does it impact our world? And we are going to stay on top of this because the real estate has always been in a unique industry, but this is also an industry which in this time is highly impacted, kind of like the BP oil spill impacted us and how the tornadoes and things that went through Tuscaloosa impacted us. We have to have some sort of legislation that, that works in favor of our industry if we can possibly uh, get some some help in that area then we're, we're going to push to do that and our national leadership is doing that on a tremendous level at this time and our state leadership is also doing this uh, at the governor's office and with our legislators in Montgomery and from a local level we are in communication with our local leadership uh, I mean the Birmingham Association has an impact over nine counties between us and the greater Alabama MLS and so we are in communication with those areas as well to make sure that we find out how our world is going to be over the next two or three or four weeks. Uh, we are finally uh, at the point we're trying to find out our designation as for whether we're essential or non-essential. Uh, I believe the real estate industry is essential, uh, just like a financial institution is essential because we've got people that are wanting to close on homes that if, if everything gets shut down is going to have a huge negative impact on on our clients and our communities and we're trying to minimize that as much as possible. On the NAR.realtor site there is a report titled The Coronavirus A Guide for Realtors. It is full of information, it's full of suggestions and ideas. That will also help you in future planning as, you, as we move into what I'm looking at as more of a two to four week aspect of this moving forward. Uh, so we are going to keep you updated on that. Uh, been Several of the members have reached out to me concerning a COVID-19 addendum. Uh, a lot of offices have sent us copies of it, of theirs and things of that nature. Uh, just let me tell you that first and foremost, you know, offices can, can do things a lot quicker than we can. If you've got a, an office with 50 people in or an office with 10 people in it, you can work an addendum a whole lot quicker than the association can. But we have sent all of those addendums, uh, all the information that we have and, and what we are trying to do for our con bar contract and we have sent it to the bar attorney with the contract attorney and he is working on it as we speak and we hope to have something back to you very shortly on this. Uh, a statement was made to me the other day, well, well, you know, the association needs to get something out quick. Well, as far as legal documents, I've always had the theory that quick is never good with a legal document because quick winds up getting you in trouble. So we're going to make sure that we get it right and we're going to make sure we get it out to you so that you can utilize it moving forward. One of the other things is for our brokers, especially our small business owner brokers, uh, SBA.gov, the Small Business Administration, has a disaster loan program that is in place now since Alabama is considered a, 
a disaster area. So if you go to sba.gov uh, forward slash disaster, you can get information on those low interest rate SBA loans if your business is being impacted by this. Uh, I know some people's businesses are being impacted today by this. So if you're being impacted, this is a good source to reach out to. Open houses, a uh, uh, ton of emails off of open houses. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a broker. So open houses are your broker's decision. It's not an association decision. I will tell you this, that, that you need to go to your broker, and that broker needs to decide whether or not you guys are going to do open houses. Uh, between, between the monsoon season that started in January and the coronavirus season that started two weeks ago, there's, uh, there may not be a lot of traffic there anyway. So be sure and get with your broker on whether or not you should or are going to be allowed to do an open house, and uh, they will make that decision for you. As far as pushing information, the Bar Birmingham Association of Realtor Bar is going to be pushing all the information that we get through BirminghamRealtors.com and the Greater Alabama MLS. But one of the things we've done with BirminghamRealtors.com is as of today, after speaking with, with staff today, we are pulling down off of the slide screen that goes, the, 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 the motion picture screen that goes up there. If it has to do with an event that's supposed to happen in April, it's getting pulled down. We're just, to be perfectly honest with you, we've got to look beyond uh, an event, a luncheon or something like that. Any piece of information we can get, we're going to put it up there. So if you guys go to BirminghamRealtors.com, you'll be able to find some information and the sourcing of that information. So, so we find it to be, if we find credible information, we'll get it to you. We're going to make sure that we have some place for you to go in order to get what you need to, one, better serve your business, better serve your brokerages, better serve your clients, mostly better serve your community and your family. That being said, what do we do now? Uh, the state of Alabama has been through hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, oil spills, and now we've got a virus. The one thing I know about people in the Birmingham Association of Realtors is we went through hurricanes, we've been through the tornadoes, we went through 2009. And one of the things that came out of the other side of it were more professional realtors, better business people, and all around stronger membership. And that's what's going to happen with this. We're going to come out the other side of this better. We're going to come out of it stronger. We're going to come out of it a whole heck of a lot smarter. Because some of the things that are coming to light today that we knew about previously from a business standpoint that we really didn't think about that much because business was going great. Uh, one thing that came to mind to me was the, uh, the fact that every courthouse in the state of Alabama, every county courthouse in the state of Alabama should be digital. Because right now in our rural areas, our membership is being impacted because if the, if the county commissions are sending the courthouse workers home, then our appraisers, our surveyors, uh, our title reps, they can't get the information they need. And this is the year 2020, guys. We're, we're computer dominant, and we should have that happening. So one of the big pushes that I'm pushing for moving outside of this uh, coronavirus is going to be modernization of all of our courthouses. I've already communicated that with, with our state leadership. Uh, the national leadership is trying to get us to where we can do online uh, notary signings. So anything we can do to improve what we're doing today, we're going to do it. But from as your president, I, I tell you this. Our staff has done a phenomenal job. They will continue to do a phenomenal job. But we as membership and as realtors and as community members have to remember that everybody's under stress. And let's just make sure that before we blast off that email, before we launch off on that phone call, before we do our tirade or rant on social media, take a breath, breathe, and think about what you're going to say. A dear friend of mine that I was in law enforcement with for many years uh, made the statement one time. He says, you know, if the top two inches of your body is not getting some air, you can't function. So if we're not breathing, if we're not taking that breath, if we're not focusing on what we need to do, then we're not going to be able to function. So my promise to you is just like I told you in December at the inauguration is very simple. My goal is to have the membership at the forefront of anything having to do with the real estate industry. 
and we will continue to have you at the forefront. But I also told you that my goal was to protect the membership in this association. And I will do that to the best of my abilities. So if we get a shelter in place, you're going to hear me tell you to stay in the house. If we get a, we're an essential function and we can continue to operate, I'm going to let you know that too. But we all are in this together. This is our industry. It's how we, we feed our families. It's how we put a roof over our head. And we will come out the other side. All I ask is every now and then we just take a breath. If you need me, I'm easy to find. Uh, my phone's in the MLS. My email's in the MLS. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Get a hold of me if you need to. Just understand that through this, through adversity, strength comes through. And we will be better. We will be stronger. We will be a tighter membership we will be a tighter community once this is done. If you need me, reach out to me. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great week.